coming to lumbar puncture which is commonly done in the neuro intensive care units and even in the medical intensive care units to diagnose uh, meningitis and uh, diagnostic as a diagnostic purpose we do as a therapeutic purpose we do sometimes when there is a hydrocephalus so we do lumbar puncture as a therapeutic approach to remove the csf 30 to 40 ml as a trinase uh, trinase we do it but we should make sure that there is no raised icp before you do lumbar puncture we do a ct scan or uh, sometimes we do fundoscopy to look for any papillary edema before you do the lumbar puncture the volume of csf in a healthy patient is about 150 ml depending on the patient's position the body habit is the normal opening pressure during the lumbar puncture ranges between the 5 to 18 cm of water there should be no red blood cells in the normal csf or uh, and less than 5 white cells are seen in normal csf the normal glucose concentration is 2.2 to 3.9 millimoles per liter lactate is 1 to 2 millimoles per liter albumin is 0.06 to 0.45 grams per liter and igg concentrations we generally don't measure the lumbar puncture can be performed either diagnostic or therapeutic reasons so what are the indications the most common indications for the diagnostic lumbar puncture are meningitis multiple sclerosis subarachnoid hematitis malignant meningeal infiltration we do lumbar puncture so the most common therapeutic interventions using lumbar puncture are release of elevated csf pressure in patients with mal absorption hydro hydrocephalus insertion of a drainage catheter after subarachnoid hemorrhage or in patients with traumatic csf leakage through the ear or nose when whenever there is a uh, csf leak through the nose we do uh, like we we keep the uh, we keep the catheter into the csf and then uh, in, uh, so into the like into the intrathecal space and then to drain the csf and then when you are draining the csf the pressure will be low and then the, even if there is a small defect uh, and then that will be healed and then the csf leakage can be controlled so the insertion of drainage catheter prior to certain neuro neurosurgical procedures or surgery of the descending aorta whenever you think there is a damage uh, whenever uh, whenever you are doing base of it's called surgeries and prophylactically they keep uh, they keep a drainage catheter uh, to prevent any csf leak in the post operative period so what are the equipment you need you need a sterile gown you need sterile gloves skin preparation sets sterile drapes local anesthetic syringe and hypo with hypodermic needles and the most important thing is the twinky uh, needle that is the lumbar puncture needle and then you need csf collection tubes for diagnostic purpose so this is how you position the patient in the lateral decubitus position and then you need to identify uh like uh, you have to palpate the spinous process so you have to identify the interspinous process and you can do it e even in sitting position uh and and then you have to identify l4 l5 space and then you have to uh, and then uh with the using the lumbar puncture needle so you can enter and then you can uh, and then when you give the when you get the loss of resistance and then then uh, slowly remove the trocar and then you can see uh, the free flow of csf